Let's pretend you're out on a run in the woods. Suddenly, you find yourself face to face with a wolf up the trails. What should you do? Hi, and welcome back. In this YouTube video, you will learn how to increase your chances of survival of a wolf attack. Your first priority is preventing this from escalating into an attack situation. Let's get started. Number 1. Stay calm and try not to panic. Wolves are smart animals. They can easily see your weakness. Don't look scared or fall. This can encourage an attack. Number 2. Calmly and slowly back away and maintain eye contact. Avoid showing your teeth. Lower your head and bow slightly. The wolf will see this as submissive and non-threatening behavior. Number 3. If the wolf begins snarling, snapping and lunging towards you, you need to switch from passive and non-threatening behavior to asserting yourself and showing the beast that you are not an easy target. Stand tall and make yourselves look larger by holding your jacket over your head. Number 4. On no circumstances do not turn your back on the wolf or run away. This will make you look like prey, which is a bad thing. Remember, wolves are hunters. Number 5. Maintain eye contact but don't stare the animal down. This looks like a threat. They interpret this as challenging or threatening behavior and can trigger an attack. Number 6. If the wolf is not backing off and you have no opportunity for escape, use anything you have to hand to strike at the creature. Aim for the face and its nose in particular as this is highly sensitive and a well-placed blow can stun the animal. Once again you are looking to show the animal that you are a threat and not an easy kill. Number 7. Get yourselves as quickly as possible to a safe distance, without running. Bang at the door to the nearest house or get inside of a car. Do whatever necessary to scare away the predator. Failing that, I'm afraid it's kill or be killed. Wolves don't turn and run away immediately like we're used to with other animals. Regulations allow anyone at any time to scare a wolf away. Yell at it. That's legal to do. Just don't hurt it. If it becomes necessary for your survival, it's legal to kill a wolf in self-defense. If you do, expect an investigation. Better back up your story with physical evidence like bite marks. Make sure you have a vaccination against rabies if you got bitten. Wild wolves are very fearful of people and try their best to avoid them. If you encounter a wolf that is not afraid of people please report sighting and details to the authorities. Evidence from a few recent cases of humans being bitten during wolf contacts indicates these animals may have been fed by people, thereby losing their natural fear of humans and associating humans with food. In other cases, People may have been injured while trying to break up a fight between their dog and a wolf. Let's pretend you are out on a walk with your dog. What steps can you take? If you're living nearby a known wolf pack or there have been reports on wolf nearby, you should keep your pets close and not let them run around loose. A dog may think that a wolf barking or howling is a dog that wants to play. Trust me, that is not the case. Step 1. Pick up all turd after your dog is done with the toilet, and don't let the dog pee on every pole you pass by. Step 2. If you see what looks like a wolf in a distance, stand between the wolf and the dog and yell, it may scare away the wolf. Step 3. Pick up whatever you can to protect yourselves with if the wolf approaches, and back up slowly. Wolf-dog hybrids tend to be much more dangerous than wolves because they have been habituated to people and do not fear them. It is difficult to tell the difference between a wolf and a wolf-dog hybrid by appearance in a distance. Wolves and dogs are members of the same species, Canis lupus. Okay, remember, whatever you do, keep calm and don't run. Wolves are what is known as coursing predators meaning they take their prey on the run. In addition to not running, do not turn your back on the beast. If multiple wolves are threatening you some of them may try to flank you. When you need help, you need it immediately. Scream for help. Some may hear you and come to your rescue. However, if things go south from there, your chances become worse the more animals there are. If you find yourself in a group and under attack by a wolf, or pack of wolves, group yourselves together with children, elderly, or injured persons at the center of the group. Stay together, if an individual breaks from the group, 
the wolf's instinct will compel it to hunt that person. If you're alone, climb a tree. Wolves can't climb trees. You may be in for a long wait and could find yourself surrounded by a pack of wolves for some time. Still, a long wait in a tree is better than being attacked. That's it for this video. Thank you for listening and remember to hit that subscribe button, like or dislike, and leave a comment down below. More videos like this are in the pipe. Stay tuned. So, there you go. Safe walking out there.